Welcome into day two of the NFL Draft. I am Tom Downey. Today's show made possible by Roan. I'm wearing the Commuter Collection shirt. If you want to look good, feel good, play good, you should be using Roan as well. 20% off on your order when you go to roan.com slash chat sports and use code chat sports. We're breaking down Mel Kuyper's best available prospects entering day two. And there is a top five player on the board for Mel. That is Kentucky quarterback Will Levis. He is number four overall on Mel's board. He comped him to Matthew Stafford. Clearly, the NFL disagreed uh, on that front, which makes things oh so interesting. We'll spend some more time here on Levis in a second. But the other guys on the top four left here, Joey Porter Jr. is number 22 on Mel's big board. I I don't know why he fell. I think he got a lanky, long, athletic corner. That's the type of guy that I'm a big fan of. Ball skill production was not there, but teams didn't throw at him, so a bit surprised Joey Porter Jr. is there. Uh, There's always three reasons why... A player's on the board, right? Unknown medical off the field that we did not know about. Uh, teams don't know ball, or the draft analyst does not know ball, and that's why they're a little bit higher. And that those last two parts don't really get known until, you know, three years from now. Keon White, much like Will Levis, was a draft invite. I didn't think he'd go in round one. 31's a bit high uh, for me personally. Uh, I've got Keon White much further lower on my board at 45, but he is one of the better available players. And Michael Mayer who, along with another guy we'll get to here in a little bit, I had as a top 10 player. So, eh, off the field, do I know ball? Does, does the NFL not know ball? We'll find out. Uh, I Shocked he's there. Uh, really am. Will Levis had buzz about the... Uh, uh, shout out to everyone who bet on Will Levis going number one because of an anonymous Reddit post. So much money lost because of that. Now he's available at the top of the second round. Oopsie. Who in the end will draft Will Levis? This will be the pinned comment on today's video. So if an ad break comes here on the YouTube side of things, cool, take advantage of it. Head down there, shoot your shot, predict who drafts Will Levis in round two or three in this year's NFL draft. All right, next four players. Brian Branch, that's my guy. Mel had him and Michael Mayer drop suddenly in in his final big board, which... Makes may, maybe he heard something about those guys aren't going to go uh, that early in the end. Uh, two off-ball linebackers here, Trenton Simpson and Drew Sanders. I have Sanders at 35, Simpson at 41, so we're we're picking nits, if you will, at that point. So no complaints there. Sam Laporta out of Iowa, mediocre first name. I got producer Sam on the scene. That's why I said it. I'm kidding. Uh, he is my number two tight end left. I got him at 50. Mel's got him at 36. We'll talk about Darnell Washington here in a little bit, but we will be live for the 2023 draft once again here on Chat Sports. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We had a ball during day one. We'll have great times on day two and on day three. Plus, we'll have grades at the end of each night, UDFA's uh, Sunday morning. Make sure you guys are subscribed, youtube.com slash chat sports TV. All right, back-to-back tight ends here, 38th and 40th overall on Mel's board, Darnell Washington, Luke Musgrave. There has been some buzz about medical concerns that had red flag stuff, I believe it was a knee, for Darnell Washington. So if he slides beyond, you know, I'd say beyond pick 40, 45, Medical stuff might be real, though, but that's that's still just buzz, unconfirmed stuff. Luke Musgrave, great athlete, but he, he's got some concerns, too. John Michael Schmitz, who is my number one center, so I agree with Mel there. Thank you, Mel. At a time he wants, at a bar rate, at a Northwestern. At one point, Mel had a 15 on his board and said he's going to go top 15. Yeah, 42 makes a lot more sense for him and his grade. Steve Avila, uh, the best available guard on Mel's big board. He's 43 overall for including John Michael Schmitz uh, as a center. There had been some round one buzz for him. Uh, Dallas had been linked heavily, but that might have just been smoke out of Dallas' side. So Avila's at 43. Speedy wide receiver Jalen Hyatt is at 44 overall. And then two guys I just don't agree with on Mel as being this high. It's Tyler Steen, which I, I get that he's a good athlete, but like I don't think he's ever, I don't think he's ever that great at Alabama. I have him outside my top 100. I do think he'll go closer to where Mel has him uh, than where I do. And I don't mind Jonathan Mingo, but he's barely a top 100 player for me. I get that he's big size, good athlete, but there's a lot of receiver stuff he has to actually work on in the end. Now, today's show is made possible by Roan. I'm rocking one of their commuter collection shirts, and you should too. 20% off 
and free shipping on your order. You go to roan.com slash chat sports. Mobility is everything, right? Especially for, I think, quarterbacks in the modern day NFL. But you also want to have mobility in your t-shirts and your polos too, right? Comfortable four-way stretch fabric from Roan gives breathability and flexibility that leaves you free to enjoy whatever life throws your way from your commute to work to golf, drinks, whatever, after work. They got odor-free technology, wrinkle release technology, so as you wear it more and more, things will disappear and it's just just comfortable, right? Look good, feel good, play good with Roan. It is the most comfortable, breathable set of fabrics known to man. The commuter collection can get you through any workday and straight into whatever comes next. Head to roan.com slash chat sports and use promo code chat sports to save 20% off your entire order. That's 20% 20% off at R-H-O-N-E dot com slash chat sports and use code chat sports. Links in the comments section and the description. Find your corner office comfort today with Rome. Some dudes I like here. Cam Smith, who some soft whispers of like character off the field stuff, but no one's actually said what it is. So I just think he's good at football. I like him a lot. Cedric Tillman, there are not very many big receivers this year. Quinton Johnston's gone. It's kind of Mingo, Tillman, your other big receivers, A.T. Perry, and then it's like Xavier Hutchinson, Michael Wilson. There's there's not big ones here. They could go earlier. Matthew Bergeron might be a guard in the NFL, but I think he's going to be an early pick today. Josh Downs is my 47th player, so Mel and I see things very similarly here. Uh, He's not a big guy. He's undersized, but he's fast and just a reliable uh, catcher. Byron Young, the Tennessee version, who I'm not as high on as Mel is. He's an older prospect for me, but he's got great athletic juice there. The edges, you know, once you get beyond B.J. Ojolari, uh, others, it's a little bit thin quickly. So I got him again, outside my top 100. Big difference of opinion there. Rasheed Rice flashes great upside, but he's not consistent. He is a third slash fourth round grade for me. Big difference there. Tyreek Stevenson, perfect spot. The cornerback, he is on my board 55th, so we're in the same range there. There's Hendon Hooker, the Tennessee quarterback, who, again, I am lower on. But he might go before Will Levis. I would not rule it out, and I wouldn't be that mad at it either because I got concerns around both players. I think both guys would love to go to to Seattle, by the way, today. So who will draft Hendon Hooker when it's all said and done? Sound off and predict it for me in the comment section. Some guys I really like here. DJ Turner's a top 50 player for me. He is, he might be a nickel in the NFL, but he's a fantastic athlete. And the film actually I thought was pretty damn good too. Jair's Brown, Brown's film is also very good, but he ran very slow at the combine and a free safety who is slow is not what you want, but everything else is great athletically. Uh, It's just, is the long speed a killer in the end for Brown? B.J. Ojolari, who I, I have much higher on my board personally. Ojolari's at 29 for me. He's one of my top uh, five players left at this. He's top six players, excuse me. Um, didn't test the best. He's coming off an injury, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt there. Devon A. Chain, who I have at 50 or 61. So, again, we're in the ex- we're off by two picks. That's the same grade, basically. So, A. Chain at 59. I like that for Mel. He's got the absolute juice you covet at the running back spot. I want to hear from you guys. You've heard some of my opinions. You're obviously seeing Mel's thoughts here. Who is your best NFL draft prospect left? Who is it? Go in the comments section and sound off right now as we break down the remaining players on Mel's top 32 remaining, uh, we'll call it here. Derek Hall, the edge from Auburn. We're at similar range from that. Seems like I'm at 70. You're off by 10. Yeah, it's the same. It's just like, that's just flavors of ice cream at that point. Osiris Torrance. Uh, this is a big difference for us. Uh, he's Mel's got him at 61. Flip those. I got him at 16. I I, I have liked. I I have always been high on Osiris Torrance. I I just maybe I don't know ball. It's very possible, but I, I'm a big fan of his game. I think he should go early in the second round. Zach Charbonnet, running back out of UCLA. Again, he's a bigger guy, not the best athlete, but he is a very, very good football player. Similar range here, along with Keely Ringo, the cornerback out of Georgia. Been some buzz. The Bengals might have interest in him. Wonder if he's there for them in the second round of this year's draft. We will be live for every pick, folks. Do not miss out. Hit that sub button, youtube.com slash chatsportstv.